What's going on guys? Welcome back. Chris here at Colville South Farm. Well guys, had some rain the last couple of days, so unfortunately couldn't get much done outside. Um, so I think today we're gonna uh, jump in the John Deere here and we're gonna head down and we're gonna put a log on the mill and uh, and start cutting up some of that pine that we dragged down in the last video. Um, but I did mention in the last video that we had swapped to a Pat's Quick Hitch here on the John Deere. So here's a good view of the Pat's. And the reason I did that is actually pretty simple. The John Deere iMatch works great for this rake and it works great on the back blade. But unfortunately, the Wallenstein skidding winch and the Sundown flail mower are not quick hitch compatible. So basically I was only able to use the quick hitch for those two pieces and then I'd have to take it off to hook the other stuff up. The pats, because it's only on the lift arms instead of on the whole thing, is does work with those. So that's why we switched. I do like the John Deere iMatch. Um, and if this stuff was quick hitch compatible, I would absolutely keep using it. But um, right now it makes more sense to use the pats until we get more implements that would fit the regular quick hitch. So uh, anyway, guys, that's why we switched. Um, I'll give it more in-depth review the more we use it. Um, it's still on there, it's still pretty new. So, you know, haven't used it a lot yet. Uh, it seems to work pretty good so far. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's why we swapped over. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna swap over. We're gonna put the log grapple on. I have the brush grapple on now. We're gonna put the log grapple on and uh, grab a chainsaw and a few other tools and uh, head down to the sawmill. All right, guys, so uh, we're down here at the sawmill and uh, we're gonna load one of the logs on with the tractor and uh, and start cutting. All right, guys, so we got the log on the mill. Now we're gonna get the uh, get it centered up and uh, start cutting. But uh, I'm gonna set this up on a time lapse uh, while we do all that so you guys can uh, see the whole process.
All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps up that log. Uh, we have three more to do, which uh, we'll probably work on this afternoon. We're making progress. We got a pretty good stack here of uh, mostly four quarter with a little bit of a couple of two buys and a little two uh, six by fours. So we're making progress. Uh, I got to get the wood stacked and stickered in a better spot. I just kind of put it there for now, but uh, we're probably gonna use one of those uh, four by sixes that we made and actually cut it up and use it to lay all of the lumber on and then we can stack and sticker it a little better i also got to cut some stickers so i'll probably take up there's a couple of smaller cutoffs here we'll take those up we'll cut them to length and uh, run them through the table saw up in the shop so yeah we're making progress guys every time we run the mill we learn a little bit more um you know we get a little bit better at it you know there's definitely a big learning process here so it's it's definitely a process to say the least so anyway guys i think i'm gonna end the video here and like i like to say if you like these videos please subscribe hit the like button and leave us a comment tell us what you think just remember it'll be all right